Welcome back. Saturday was opening day for an exhibit showing Omaha's long and storied baseball past. Uh, you might be surprised how many of the sports legends spent uh, the early parts or some parts of their careers here in town. Six News' Joe Harris paid a visit and shows us that much of America's pastime has roots here. Who knew Omaha had such a rich baseball history? Well, it does. Hall of Famer Three Finger Brown played for the then Omaha Indians before moving on to the major leagues. His is only one of many storied careers tied to this city's pro baseball history and its various team names. Starting in 1879 with the Green Stockings, going on to the Omaha Hogs, and then in 1904, the worst name ever given to a baseball team in the history of whatever, the kidnappers. Much of it is on display at the first annual 150 years of Omaha baseball history. With the Carl's World Series, there should be something available for people to actually realize that, you know, Omaha was a, was a, a mecca for baseball. You know, all the different players that came through Omaha. Dazzy Vance played here and Dizzy Dean and all these people that played in Omaha. And it's something visitors learned about firsthand. I didn't realize we had 150 players that came out of the city of Omaha that made it to the major leagues. Greg Olson was one from Omaha that was kind of in my generation growing up. But my favorite baseball player of all time is George Brett. I didn't realize that he played for the Omaha Royals in the early 70s. Uh, before he made it to Kansas City. One of Castrick's personal favorite teams, the Omaha Cardinals. The Cardinals were really big in Omaha. We were, we were always just second to the Denver Bears in attendance, and even in the bad years. And we won a lot of league championships, but we never made it through the playoffs. That club boasted names like Don Blazengame, Kenny Boyer, and Bob Gibson, all of whom later had success in the major leagues. And Castrick says he'd like the future events to be closer to Charles Schwab Field during CWS so that more baseball fans from out of state can learn about it. We have this college world series and everything else. Let's now let's appreciate Omaha baseball. Let's let's learn to and also to convey that to the LSU fans and the Tennessee fans and the, you know and the Southern Cal fans that come in here that hey you're coming into a, a pretty interesting baseball town. On your side, Joe Harris, Six News. Well, a couple of folks like Alec Bohm and Darren Ruff from Omaha in the big leagues right now. Uh, Omaha also has a rich Negro Leagues baseball history. That will be celebrated at the Storm Chasers game July 15th. Now, it's not too late to visit the baseball history exhibit that you just saw. It runs through August 5th and is open Thursday through Sunday at the Center Mall.